Hey, this is Chan for Different Skill, bringing you a deck profile on a new Gold Paladin deck, the Chrome Jailer Dragon. But of course, um, you cannot play your Chrome Jailer alone because, you know, it's kind of inconsistent if you do that. So, of course, everyone's, every American, North American's favorite card, Spectral Duke Dragon, is in this deck. So, dude, stay tuned. Um, so, first of all, let's talk about Chrome Jailer Dragon. First of all, it looks amazing in SP. I mean, come on. So good. Beautiful. I mean, like, English SPs should really get on, on the level of Japanese ones. I'm just saying. And this, beautiful. Anyways, so, um, Chrome Jailer Dragon. Let's start with him. I play four, of course. So, what is his ability? Well, he's a 10k. Um, he has a limit break four. You may retire two, kind of boss two. Retire two of your gold paladin and rear guards plus 10k plus one crit. Now this is better already than Phantom Blaster Dragon, except for the downside that he's not 11k. But in exchange, you only need two cards instead of three. Um, he has a Persona Blast, actually. Very good. Um, you can dis Count of Blast one, discard a copy of himself, look at the top four cards of your deck, and call two gold paladins from it into your open rear guard circles. Now this card is so good. Oh my god. Is just really really good. Um, you you understand why? It's I mean it's a plus one off of counter blast one persona blast, and also it fixes your field and then like you get a lot of good cards because a lot of cards in Cold Paladin are, you know, more powerful when you call them from the deck or they actually do something. So I play three of him, a four of him, and I play three spectral Duke Dragon. Um, not much to say about him. I'm sure all you guys know what he does. So, yeah, I'm just gonna move right on. Uh, main reason why I use the Spectral Duke Dragon is because of the ride chain. It does not cost Counter Blast, and it gives you advantage, so you can save all your Counter Blast for goodies like Blaster Dark Spirit. So I pulled an SP1. Oh, so nice! I will show you guys. You fear how jelly you will be. Look at this. And then, if you can see closely, that right here, there's like a swiping motion. And the, it's SP'd. Um, the other ones, uh, there's the there's the art, there's like a uh, line, but then like this one has like an entire sweeping motion, and it makes this. Here, wait. Like you hear that sound, right? It's textured so nicely, and it has like the shock waves with a slash, and then there's like the. <sighs> Anyways, so onto what this card actually does. Um, this card is also treated as a gold paladin. It is a shadow paladin, so you could play it in a shadow paladin deck, although it's not really... I mean, the only way you can get it is off bad car, but, yeah, you know, just don't play it in shadow paladins. It's Blaster Dark Spirit. Um, it's pretty damn good. Uh, not really, though. Um, when he is called from the deck, uh, you may count blast one, retire one level two or higher in the front row. Yeah, level 2 or higher in the front row. So, that's what this card does. Um, his rear guard effect is that when this card is being attacked, at the end of the attack step, this card is sent to the drop zone. So you can attack with a Margol, and it dies. A lot of English players are all like, man, this card is so bad, you can just attack it with a random anything. I'm like, go for it. I was planning on intercepting with it anyway so I can use Chrome Jailer Dragon's effect again to get more of these and kill your whole field but you know whatever floats your boat. So um yeah uh, really good and his second ability is that it's also his passive is that it's also treated as a gold paladin so it's pretty neat. Three Blaster Blade Spirit um, similar to Blaster Dark this card is also a gold paladin. At the same time when this card is called from the deck Counter Blast 1 retire 1 level 2 or lower card on your opponent's, um, I think, I'm not sure, I think it's the opponent's side of the field. I don't think it's um, designed by rows. I'm actually not sure because I've never actually topped off one of these. No, normally I'm only getting darks, but I'll have to check this later. I actually didn't think about this. So yeah, um, both have the effect uh, if they're getting attacked, they will die. So yeah, they're fragile, but they're 10k. So what do you want? They're so good. Play four Vortimer, uh, whatever. He's pretty boring, so I'm just not gonna talk about him. I'm sure you guys all know what Vortimers do, so I'm just gonna move right on. I play two Gareth. You know, it's very simple. Four uh, Vortimer. I mean, yeah, these are really boring cards. The cool cards were the new cards that came in the set, so there they were. 
two Black Main Witch. Black Main Witch is a card where when you play it, you get a send the send one card from your side of the field to the drop zone. Call the top card of your deck. And, you know, it's pretty simple. I mean, you get a trigger, kill it, call something else. Maybe you hit a Blessed or Dark Spirit. Maybe you'll hit something good. Maybe you won't. It's all about luck. For Dinderon, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't run this card? I mean, so good. When it's called from the deck, Soul Blast 1, draw a card. What do you want more from me? Um, for Halo Shield Mark, these are the new Sentinel ones. Um, they're pretty nice. I like them, to be honest. It looks cool. So, four Sentinel Shields. Um, of course, your starting Vanguard, Vortimer, and a lot of da Dante Gall. Um, the new Critical Trigger. I mean, it looks really nice. But I'm not actually running 12th grade or anything. I just like it. Um, four Silent Punisher, four uh, High Speed Speeder Hound, and four Elixir Summoner. So, this deck, uh, overall, it's very fun because it's sactastic, and that's why everyone likes playing Gold Paladin. Um, I like it because of the things I get to play alongside it, like these, but, you know, um, overall, Spectral Duke is really lame. I only use it because it's good for pluses, and then I use Chrome Jailer Dragon afterwards. Because Chrome Jailer Dragon is a really good card. So, this was a quick deck profile, probably because there's a lot of old repeat cards, like Spectral Duke, who aren't really cool, Vortimers, who are lame, Vortimers, who are lame, lots of lame cards, but... You know, this card is very nice. Along with the spirits. The spirits are also very nice. Very nice. So, if you want to get your hands on the Blaster Blade and Dark Spirits, um, I have some on sale, so please do offer. Um, if you want, there will be a trade, bind, trade box video sooner or later, so you guys can stay tuned for that. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!